Ontario, once the point of destination for global business, is now at the point of departure. Companies are leaving at an incredible rate, taking jobs and capital with them. But also, they are taking away tax revenue, forcing Ontario into deficit. Premier, we war I warned you about this many times. If you tax them too much, if you tax them too much, they will leave. Your total revenues will shrink. If you offer a competitive jurisdiction, more businesses will come. Revenues will increase. It's called the Laffer Curve. It's basic economics. Premier, will you reduce your tax rates, your corporate tax rates? Thank you, Premier. Speaker, the Minister of Finance. Sir. Mr. Mr. Speaker, uh, I remind my colleague opposite that uh, not only did they run uh, consecutive deficits, they borrowed money to cut taxes. They raised the province's debt. They left us with a $5.5 billion deficit. We were able to deal with that and deliver three consecutive surplus budgets, Mr. Speaker. We have, made, we have paid down the province's debt. We have rehired the inspectors and in environment that you fired, the meat inspectors you fired, the nurses you fired. Mr. Speaker, the tax cut, deregulation, slash and burn ideology has been rejected around the world. Even Mr. Flaherty today acknowledges that a deficit could, in fact, be a reality for Canada and may, in fact, be in a prudent and appropriate policy. I'd welcome the member to. Thank you, Minister. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that's exactly the attitude that has put us in a deficit. The current deficit is largely because almost $900 million less revenue has been, has been received by Ontario, from Ontario corporate taxes. Where did the money go? It went to Mexico. It went to China, Brazil. It went to the states like Pennsylvania, where the costs are lower than they are in Ontario. Businesses like Volvo, John Deere, Hennings Automotive, Interforest, PPG, General Motors, Campbell Soups. These companies haven't gone out of business. They've simply moved out of Ontario and consolidated elsewhere, taking their tax dollars and tax revenues with them. Minister, I ask you again, will you learn from your mistakes? Will you save Ontario job jobs? Will you safeguard essential services and implement a, complement, a comprehensive shift in economic policy that includes making corporations more competitive in Ontario? Minister. Mr. Speaker, we did that in our Wilson's throne speech and in our budget. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, we, are, we have introduced the largest infrastructure spending uh, initiative in the province's history, and that member, Mr. Speaker, voted, voted against it. Mr. Speaker, we provided $1.5 billion for skilled training and training initiatives. That member voted against it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we eliminated the capital tax for manufacturers. We are equalizing and reducing the business education tax right across Ontario. That member and his party voted against it, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we are building partnerships. We're yeah. building partnerships with our municipalities by increased funding, by uploading ODB, ODSP. Yeah. That member, Mr. Speaker, yeah. voted against it. Yeah. That ideology has been discredited around the world, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. We will continue. And we won't do a carbon tax like you're advocating, I'd say to the member opposite. What I'll say, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.